From weapons to servants, Boston Dynamics robots are speculated to have been built for all sorts of purposes. But while they may not know the company's intentions for sure, one thing is a given. Their robots are guaranteed to catch your eye and even creep you out to a certain degree. So in this video, let's take a look inside the factory where these incredibly futuristic robots come to life. But before that, let me give you a brief background on this fantastic company, Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics was founded as a spin-off between MIT and Carnegie Mellon in 1992 by Mark Rybert, who initially worked on dynamic robots at MIT. In its early years, the company's research and development were heavily funded by the US military and DARPA, which has raised all types of questions among the general public over the years. That's also a fundamental reason why a large proportion of people are skeptical of the underlying reason behind the company's motivation to develop these exceptionally lifelike robots. Whenever a new video featuring one of the Boston Dynamics marvels goes viral, fresh conversations arise on whether the company is on a mission to make killing machines, household helpers, or something beyond our comprehension entirely. To clarify some of these misconceptions, I'll tell you guys what the founder, former CEO, and chairman of Boston Dynamics, Mark Rybert, has to say on the subject. Mark publicly played down prevalent misunderstandings about the company's robots being used to kill while speaking to the Associated Press. According to him, robots like cars, airplanes, computers or lasers can be used for good and evil. However, he also simultaneously claimed that he doesn't rule out the possibility of military applications in the future, the implications of which are up for debate. Also, interestingly, Mark aims to eventually build vehicles that can go anywhere on Earth without the trouble of using roads or any other prepared surface. Uh, we're interested in building vehicles that can go any place on Earth without roads and other prepared surfaces. And so here's an example of the robot previously on the snow, and here traveling on mud, and here uh, in water. All situations that wheeled and tracked vehicles have a difficult time, but legged things excel, especially people and animals, and now the robots we're making. If they're actually able to pull this off, who knows what else the future has in store for us? You see, the thing about these robots is that even if you weren't familiar with Boston Dynamics previously, you have most likely seen video clips of Big Dog, Spot, Atlas, or Handle. These videos have been around on the internet. That's the appeal of these dynamic and super mobile robots. Even non-tech people feel compelled to watch and ask questions. These are some of the most popular of Boston Dynamics creations. And if nothing else, they restore our trust in the magic of science and technology. Inside the lab, now, moving on to some fundamental questions that I know have been on your mind. How do these robots even work? How are they manufactured? And where are they manufactured? To satisfy your curiosity, I'll show you a look inside the incredible factory where these robots are conceived, planned, and eventually manufactured. For decades, Boston Dynamics remained behind closed doors, developing robots that could only associate with science fiction movies. But last year was lucky for the tech nerds out there, because the public finally got to see what the inside of the factory where these dynamic robots come to life looks like. The 180,000 square feet facility spans three levels and has been built within an existing space. Multiple laboratories are designed to support the workers and their creations, from fabrication and engineering to bringing their elegant robots to market. The laboratory ensures the provision of resources for all. Moreover, the laboratory boasts open stairs and generous exterior and interior glazing, allowing natural sunlight to illuminate every corner of the facility. Boston Dynamics also cares about employee health and well-being, because the whole workplace gives a super welcoming, casual, and playful feel. And that's not all. Various other facilities make the Boston Dynamics headquarters a uniquely people-centric space. The lobby's robot gallery, the multi-level town hall space, the kitchens, the dining spaces, along with fitness rooms and those designed specifically for mothers, all ensure that the employees are prioritized above all else. While the lab appears pretty normal on the outside, the inside is nothing remotely close to that. It's like a different planet entirely, with 
robots casually found in corridors, offices, and kennels. They trot and dance around like it's their home, which, in their defense, it really is. The highly passionate and hardworking roboticists working there who build and often also break the robots are used to their presence for the most part. And yet, they never run out of fascination. Unsurprisingly, robots of such high caliber require a highly diligent team of dedicated professionals working together to reach the goal. Although the lab primarily includes engineers and scientists with a genuine passion for pushing the limits of science and innovation, Boston Dynamics also plans to commercialize its technology to sell products in the future. Now, aligning these goals hasn't exactly been easy, which explains why the company's ownership has changed several times in the decade, going from Google in 2013 to SoftBank in 2017 and finally to Hyundai in 2021 until today. Still, it's impressive that Boston Dynamics has managed to maintain a balance between commercializing some of its products and withholding others for further research. Next up, I'll show you how the company decides which robots have the potential for commercialization and which ones deserve more research and further development. Spot and Stretch with the company looking to create a successful business model, they released two of their most popular commercial robots, Spot and Stretch, in 2020 and 2022 respectively. This multi-purpose robo-dog and a mobile robo-arm have taken the world of technology by storm, making us seriously consider the possibility of a future that looks like an episode of The Jetsons. Both Spot and Stretch have already found multiple applications in a wide range of industries, and with Hyundai's acquisition of the company in 2021, there's a massive chance that Boston Dynamics might be able to turn these robots into highly profitable ventures. The manufacturing capacity of Hyundai, mainly focusing on the latest automobiles, opens the door to unlimited possibilities in the future. But for Boston Dynamics, commercialization does not mean that the company will neglect its original research routes and prospects for future development. The fact that it has certain robots reserved for that purpose is a testament to its commitment to science and investment in creating humanoid robots. Atlas and Big Dog Atlas is one of those projects that Boston Dynamics reserves purely for research-related objectives. It's basically a bipedal humanoid robot that mimics human behavior to an almost terrifying degree. The company doesn't plan to commercialize Atlas in the foreseeable future, not because it doesn't have any real-life applications, because there are tons of those, but primarily because of how immensely challenging it is to create such an advanced biped robot. Nonetheless, research on this remarkable piece of technology continues, and engineers believe that optimizing the robot for parking core performance will be the gateway to achieving the full extent of bipedal motor skills that can be applied to other robots as well. Big Dog, on the other hand, is more likely to frighten the average Joe than spark any kind of excitement. It was initially developed for the military, and after several experiments, the engineers got this cheetah-like robot to run nearly 30 miles an hour after several experiments, which, last I checked, makes it the fastest robot in the world. Unfortunately, Big Dog never made it out of the prototype phase, but it did manage to pull off something more significant. It led to the eventual development of Spot, one of the most prominent robot dogs you'll see today. At this point, it's natural to wonder about the extent to which these robots can be developed. Is it possible that one day they'll outsmart us mere mortals and rule the world? Or is an apocalyptic AI takeover a complete myth? Let's check out some of the actual capabilities of these robots so you can decide for yourself. Actual Capabilities of Boston Dynamics Robots Sure, the demonstrations you've seen on video so far are remarkably impressive and sensational, but some roboticists in the industry have criticized Boston Dynamics for being a bit misleading. Most of these demonstrations are like orchestrated routines, instead of just happening out of the blue at any given instant, like humans moving around. They require a lot of tweaking to get right. You can't just flip a switch and expect Atlas or Spot or Big Dog to just do their thing. Yes, these routines are enough to mesmerize viewers, but remember that these robots are pretty limited in their capacity, depending on how much humans program them to do. So don't worry, robots don't actually pose a threat to the human race or existence, at least not in the near future. Still, these robots have advanced over time, and compared to demonstrations in the past where they were essentially blind, just following moves in a familiar environment, now they rely more on their own perception to navigate. That means there's less programming and more intuition, if that's what you can call it. Now that you know you don't need to fear a robot uprising and instead see them as progress in scientific development, do you look forward to what Boston Dynamics plans to do in the future? How will the company make its mark in the competitive market? Let's dive deeper into that. Hyundai and Boston Dynamics, the future of mobility? 
With unprecedented technological advancements and innovation in recent decades, multiple other robotics companies are competing to stand out in the field of autonomous mobile robots, particularly those with industrial applications. But personally, I think the Hyundai and Boston Dynamics partnership is miles ahead of the rest. This acquisition represents nothing less than a notable leap forward towards our progress as a species. In a hyper-competitive industry such as robotics, manufacturers must prioritize versatility and robustness while maintaining a balance with cost effectiveness, an edge the Boston Dynamics has in spades. The company has something that is missing in most other robotics companies, which is solid research experience. You can see that in the commercial robots that I mentioned earlier in the video. Both Spot and Stretch are evolutions of various research prototypes, so their kinks and problems have been worked out after years of research. On the other hand, Hyundai brings mass manufacturing capabilities to the table, so in combination they can definitely commercialize the field of robotics further. This gives the partnership an undeniable advantage for at least a few more years to come. However, even though it is super exciting and novel, keep in mind that robotics is still a relatively challenging field and requires a lot of funding and assistance before we can expect to see significant developments. Robots have enabled us to explore facets of our world and humanity that were considered almost impossible previously. From unreachable environments to the depth of the oceans to mysteries of outer space, we wouldn't be where we are today if it weren't for robots. And now, the the technological world is eyeing these AI-powered wonders of science to improve the quality of an average human life by supporting us in all kinds of daily tasks. With the help of Hyundai, Boston Dynamics will be able to expand future mobility and revolutionize the concepts of autonomous vehicles, logistics, and urban air mobility. Boston Dynamics is already heavily credited for moving robots from mere imagination into our homes, offices, and classrooms. And by working with a renowned automotive manufacturer like Hyundai, it will have access to more factory space and assembly lines. This in turn would enable the company to realize its commercial vision of mass manufacturing the robots it has been doing inside a lab so far. I'm hopeful that the future of Boston Dynamics is bright and full of new possibilities. That's it from my end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're interested in learning more about the latest developments in science and technology, check out the other videos on the cards. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.